guys, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I'm going to be changing an evaporation emission system purge valve on my 2014 Chevrolet Impala. I have a check engine light and I have a code P0496 and uh, this is rather common problem with these cars. Pretty cheap part, not hard to change, so gonna let you watch me and see how it's done. See you on the other side. Pretty cheap part. Uh, got it for $27 plus shipping. I think uh, right now we're, we're in just a little bit over 30 bucks on it right now. So I'm gonna show you where it's at and then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace it and uh, hopefully that check engine light will go away. This purge valve is right back here. Uh, it sits right down. It sits that first thing that you see right there. That's the actual purge valve. So that's what I'm going to be replacing. And uh, I'm going to have to take this cover off here on top of the engine. Uh, probably going to pull the air cleaner cover and this uh, hose that connects between the throttle body. The, uh, the air cleaner, I'm going to pull that out of the way too. And uh, to reset the light, what I need to do is my battery is over here, and uh, I just need to disconnect. So just a real quick comparison of this is this is the old part right here and this is the new part. It's an AC Delco part. Um, like I said, it's uh, obviously looks like the same part, so everything ought to ought to go well putting it back together.
Okay, so the car didn't want to start in, at first, so that was because the hood's open. It wasn't because of anything that I have actually done while working on it. So, this sounds like she's running okay. Check engine lights, no longer there. So there you have it guys. Those are the steps to change a evaporation emission system purge valve. This is on a 3.6 liter V6 in a Chevy Impala. 2014 Chevy Impala. Um, real easy job, real easy. Like I said, cost me about 30 bucks for the brand new part, uh, AC Delco part. And uh, yeah, not, not a bad uh, 30 minutes worth of work, I guess. So anyway, leave me comments down below. Tell me what you think. Um, hopefully you learned something. Uh, anyway, that's all I got. So remember guys, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.